guys, it's coffee time. Um, I'm drinking tea again today because everybody's asleep still. It's like almost 11 o'clock. I was like, I'm gonna go make coffee, but everybody's asleep. And couch roommate um, probably would have woken up if I had tried to make coffee. So, figured I could make tea because that didn't take much wrestling around in the kitchen. <laughs> and <coughs> And then we can all still be friends today, so... Um, oh, I remembered a story that I never told you guys. It's a, it's another coffee story. It's another good Starbucks story. It happened at the exact same Starbucks that I got my coffee stolen in. <sighs> okay, so I was going to work, but everything was locked down. So I said, okay, well, I'm going to go grab me a coffee because I, I texted my coworkers and I was like, where you at? And they were like, uh, whoops, we're late. And I went, Okay. So I went to Starbucks and I was like, I'm going to get me a coffee and just hang out. And then in, you know, like a half an hour, I'll walk back. So I walk into the Starbucks and I order my regular iced coffee and they say, okay, cool. And they're able to just kind of make it up and hand it to me. And I was like, thank yous. There was a huge dude. Like, I want to say like, because I've been around people who are like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and he was definitely taller than that. So I would say like he was probably like 6'6", six, six or 6'7", six, super tall in a really long black trench coat, like just super lanky, tall dude. Um, could have played, you know, like the angel of death in some sort of a movie. <laughs> but, um, Sorry, I know it's totally gross when I start laughing and then cough off to the side. Okay, but anywho, so this dude uh, grabbed his coffee, turned, and started walking, and (laughs) obviously did not see me, because I am so short. For those of you who don't remember, I am under five foot. Um, I don't know how that that translates into the metric system, but um, it's very short. It's very, very short. So... uh, I had my coffee, I'm just like spacing out, and this dude has his coffee, turns, starts to walk, and runs straight into me and spills his coffee on my head. (laughs) And I was like, oh, hi. And he felt so terrible. He was like, I am so sorry, I didn't see you. And I was like, it's okay, you're really tall. And he was like, no, I totally should have looked, I'm so sorry. And thank God his coffee was iced. (sighs) <sighs> or my head would have been just scalded and somehow it didn't get on my clothes. It got, it like just got on my head and then like collapsed off to the side and the rest of it just kind of sprayed out on the floor. But it was so funny. Like <laughs> I was like, well, I guess I'm going home and washing my hair. But he, he felt so terrible. And everybody later when I was telling the story was like, you should have made him buy you coffee. And I was like, uh, I mean, I know what it's like to be short and not look where I'm going. I can't imagine what it would be like to be tall and not look where you're going. Like, that must be way more intense because there are plenty of door frames and things that would get in the way of your daily life. So I wasn't, I wasn't upset about it, really. It was just kind of like, oh my god, that just happened. Like, I feel like this Starbucks is cursed. Like, I shouldn't go there anymore. But at the same time, I'm curious. So I'm going to just keep going there and hope that random sh- just keeps happening. But, uh, it was so, yeah, it was, it was ridiculous. It was totally ridiculous. <laughs> and, uh, and the other, the other fun part was that, um, my coworkers later were saying that it should be the opening to a sitcom called, um, Tall Man, Small Girl, <laughs> where we end up, you know, falling in love and going on hilarious dates. And I was like, no, I'm not into that. I don't think, uh. I always dated really tall people. I don't know why, but I don't know. I guess like in my mind, everybody's taller than me. (laughs) So it's kind of like, well, everybody's tall, right? But I don't know. It's, uh, it's interesting. It's a, it's an interesting world we live in. My mom's always like, no, it's because, you know, tall people always really feel protective over short people. I'm like, yeah. But sometimes short people are just, like, giant And then <laughs> poor tall person has to deal with 
with poor deranged short person. It feels like Full Metal Alchemist all over again. Like, <laughs> feel sorry for anybody who has to date me. <coughs> 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 Gross, 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 gross. Did you notice? Did you notice the misty ponytail? I wanted to wear a yellow shirt, but I don't have any clean yellow shirts, and I don't feel like doing laundry, so... So you get you get my green one-up shirt. <laughs> that at one point I got so frustrated with, because the, the neckline used to be really tight on my neck. So I was like, I'm just going to cut this. So I did. And now it's a super comfy t-shirt. But I never feel like I can wear it unless I'm about to go to bed. So <laughs> so right now it's my sick shirt and I approve of it. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm feeling better. Um, I still have a fever for some reason, uh, but I am, I am feeling a lot better. I have more energy and I feel more awake and I didn't wake up feeling like I was just going to die, which is good. Just very, very good. So Mm, hiccups, no, why? Mm, no. Okay, I think they're gone. I'm just a mess. I'm just a mess. My roommate was calling me a hot mess all day. <laughs> and I was like, you're sweet. Um, it was, well, two of us, the, the girls. The girls have both been sick. So um, we've both been been hot messes. Well, we've been sick. <laughs> uh, it's been it's been fun. It's been good times. So, yeah, I think I'm about done rambling. But that was my story. My my coffee getting spilled on me story. Because no day in my life can be normal. Um. Anywho, I guess I'm gonna go. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. But I'm in that. I'm in that. You know, when you're sick and you're in that state where like. You feel like you have energy and you want to be doing something, but um, that there's that pretty strong voice in the back of your head that's going, you should probably still take it easy today. And you're like, oh, but I've been taking it easy for days now. And the voice in your head is like, no, I know, but you got to chill. You got to chill out because otherwise you're going to be real sick and this is just going to keep going. And I'm like, I know, but I just want to, I want to do something. I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll walk and get coffee or something. Instead of make it. So I don't wake anybody up. I wonder if they're still asleep. I'm going to check. I'm going to get off. Anywho. Um. Bye. <laughs> I suck at this. <laughs>